Well, news of the Packers international season opener, that sure traveled fast. Yes, all of the fans talking about it from travel agents to Brazilians who now call Northeast Wisconsin home. The excitement and the plans only continue to build. Fox 11's Emily Matasek has our story. I cannot be any more excited. Brazil native Mar Rintamaki, who owns Mar's Brazilian Cuisine in Oshkosh, is screaming with excitement. I think it's going to be amazing. I'm super excited about it. About the Packers' Sao Paulo news. People uh, definitely have to come here, get a little taste of Brazil before they endure <laughs> the travels to Brazil. She was just home in Brazil two weeks ago. I heard the rumors about, you know, Green Bay playing in the Corinthians uh, Stadium. I'm like, holy wow, this is my backyard, you know? So it would be awesome. And I, sure enough, that happened. So I can't wait. I hope I can make it, you know? I truly do, because that would be amazing to experience that in Brazil. Rinta Mackey isn't alone. The availability on that flight is starting to go already. And now I'm looking at the 4th of September that would get you into Sao Paulo on the 5th of September. Rose Gray with Fox World Travel is already looking at flights and opportunities for Packers fans who want to travel to the game. I envision people probably flying in for the game, maybe arriving Thursday, going to the game on Friday, seeing Sao Paulo Saturday and Sunday, and then I would absolutely, if it was me traveling, uh, book the next thing I could get on to go to Rio, and I would see um, Rio as well. While fans don't need to decide today if they'll make the trip, it's something they'll need to think about sooner rather than later. And if they're going to go, Rinta Mackey says they should expect to have the best time. Heat for sure, they're gonna definitely for a bit of a difference in temperature. Um, a lot of people, uh, Sao Paulo is absolutely ginormous. There's people everywhere, walking everywhere, coming from all directions. You're gonna be a little bit overwhelmed maybe with the amount of people, but they're all very friendly, all very kind people. And even though Brazilians are all about football or what Americans call soccer, they're huge sports fans. Having the Packers play in Sao Paulo, according to Rinta Mackey, is a great way to expand interest in American football abroad. Green Bay Packers already carry the Brazilian, you know, flag no matter what. The golden and green are the main Brazilian colors, so it's like they're the best team that Brazilian could ever have a plane in their country, so it's amazing. In Green Bay, Emily Matesic, Fox 11 News. Fans looking for tickets to the international game won't be able to buy them through the Packers. Those tickets will only be available through On Location, the official hospitality partner of the NFL. Okay. So, what brought you to Oshkosh? <laughs> Marry a green goal, right? <laughs> My husband is originally from Michigan, and uh, we met through Campus Crusade for Christ, like a ministry, from church, and he was at UW Oshkosh went to Brazil visiting the missionaries that came to Oshkosh, and then I met him in my church in Brazil, and the rest is history. Okay, so <laughs> how long have you been here in Oshkosh? It, in well, in, in U.S., uh, overall, uh, 19 years. Okay. 19 years. Okay, but almost three years ago, you opened this <laughs> Tell me why you wanted to bring brazilian culture i to... i love uh, cooking i love uh, food i love ethnicity you know my husband and i like what we do for fun is like uh we go to milwaukee we go to green bay we go everywhere and we like eat different food because we love it it's our passion and um i always make cheese bread you you're gonna take a, a bag home and then you let me know afterwards okay uh, but that's like my staple thing. I started making cheese bread at the farmer's market and people are like, oh my gosh, it's so good. And can you make something else, you know, from Brazil? And I'm like, okay. So it started growing and growing. And I, eventually I was like looking for an actual, you know, spot. And um, my initial uh, thoughts were like a coffee shop, something a, a little bit smaller. But when I saw this uh, location here, I was like, no. This looks more like a, a restaurant, so I'm like, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna go crazy, and I'm gonna open a restaurant. So, that's you know, three years ago today, not three years ago in November, when we opened the restaurant. So, right. here we are. Here you are. So kind of we've made Green Bay and Northeast Wisconsin kind of home for you, but now we've learned that the Green Bay Packers are heading to. Ah! 
I cannot be any more excited. I think people uh, definitely have to come here, get a little taste of Brazil before they endure <laughs> the travels to Brazil. Um, but I think it's going to be amazing. I'm super excited about it. Um, yeah, talk to me a little bit about what, what can people from Northeast Wisconsin expect when they, if they do go? Well, heat. <laughs> That first number one. I, well, I don't know when is specifically is gonna be the Beginning game. Beginning of September. Beginning of September. Yeah. So heat for sure. They're gonna definitely for a bit of a difference in temperature. Um, a lot of people. Uh, São Paulo is absolutely ginormous. There's people everywhere, walking everywhere, coming from all directions. You're gonna be a little bit overwhelmed, maybe, with the amount of people. But they're all very friendly, all very kind people. And as I told you, you know, ext I don't know, the exchange of like um, care and charisma is natural to the Brazilians. And if some stranger person treats you like a family member, don't feel alarmed, you know? <laughs> I mean, does, <coughs> I mean, we have soccer, American football is on, we call it soccer here, right? <laughs> they, call, they call this football in Brazil. In Brazil. I mean, are, are Brazilians familiar with American football? Are they going to be excited about this? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, the American football, it's slowly growing in Brazil. It's becoming a new passion for the Brazilians. I feel that this is a great opportunity to actually bring the Brazilian football culture to the, to the Brazilians, right? I think this is a, a perfect marriage. Yeah, because they get excited about soccer, yeah. but... Oh my gosh, are they passionate about sports or what? You know, this is going to be such a, a great experience. And Green Bay Packers already carry the Brazilian, you know, flag uh, no matter what. The golden and green are the main uh, Brazilian colors. So it's like they're the best team that Brazilian could ever have a plane in their country. So it's amazing. Yeah, and they're playing the Eagles, which is another green team, but we won't talk about no, that. No, 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 no. <laughs> will you try to go? Will you, do you think you'll do special things here leading up to the game? Yes, like, yes. I totally, like, I cannot wait to, like, uh, to do little events here in order to grow uh, the knowledge of the ethnicity of Brazil, you know, to the Wisconsinites. <laughs> Yeah, I, we can talk about the the food and what they can expect with the the food and and drink and I mean we like beer and cheese here in Wisconsin. Uh, I mean, are they gonna are they gonna beer and cheese <laughs> cheese them in, in <laughs> Sao Paulo? Oh my gosh, yes, they're gonna love the beer. Uh, I don't know about the cheese because I I personally love the cheese curds here in Wisconsin. There's nothing like it in the world, not even in my home country. But there's so many other things that they you know they can try. If you come here, I have something called bolinha de queijo, which is uh, a little cheese croquette. It's what I would say is like our closest thing, you know, to the cheese curd in, in, in here in Wisconsin. But uh, there's so many other things that they have to try. Yeah, what are the musts? Oh, the coxinhas, it's a must. And you come here first, try here, then you go to Brazil and you're going to say, oh, it's amazing. <laughs> I want to say definitely the pastel. Pastel is like a, a, like a empanada, but it's a deep fried empanada. We make it in Brazil. And there's all sorts of different flavors inside. Last time I went to Brazil, I ate a shrimp with a melted cheese empanada, which is the pastel. Oh my gosh, guys, it was like the best pastel of my life. It was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So just, I mean, great food, great people, and they're going to welcome. And good, oh my gosh, yes, food and beer, right? What else can you can you ask for? So, so other than the size, <laughs> is South Palo very much like Green Bay or Oshkosh? I mean, oh my, <laughs> no. A hundred percent different. Like, of course, people are people, right? Uh, but it's definitely different. It's a... It's going to be a cultural shock. Here, everything is like a slower pace. People are, are just, uh, it's a, I would call in my, oh, coming from Brazil, Ashkash is like country, like a small town. You know, it's family uh, oriented. And Brazil is like busy, busy, busy. You get, like I said, overwhelmed with uh, the people coming from all directions. People are taking the metro, the Uber, the taxi, the, ah! it's crazy but it's a good crazy <laughs> yeah and i mean they're gonna you know you said you, you 
we were past the stadium where this is going to be. And I, I did. I was in Brazil just two weeks ago. I just came back from Brazil and Sao Paulo. I was there. And I heard the rumors about, you know, Green Bay playing in the Corinthians uh, Stadium. I'm like, holy wow, this is my backyard, you know. So it would be awesome. And I, sure enough, that happened. So I can't wait. I hope I can make it, you know, I truly do, because that would be amazing to experience that in Brazil. Yeah, I mean, because you don't just want to visit Sao Paulo, you want to... No, go you go I want to see the Packer playing there, <laughs> yeah. that would be phenomenal. There's nothing, I, I would say the energy of the Packer, uh, it's none like it, you know, it's like, uh, there's... If you're going to Packer Stadium and if they go to Brazil and do the same thing in Brazil, oh my gosh, it's going to be fever. It's going to be crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So you were here when you were in Brazil two weeks ago. There was talk there that. Yes, that there way. were rumors in Brazil in there. And I thought it was funny because I mentioned to my husband, you know, I was like, oh, is that a possibility? And he's like, yeah, but it's not for certain yet. And so, but in Brazil, I was already like talking about it. So that would be now that it's for. For sure, I have to call my mom and my sisters and ask them, hey, what's going on? What's the excitement in Brazil, you know? Right. Yeah. Oh, nice. Anything else you think is important that I didn't ask about? Uh, no, I would say come over. If you want to cater from here, if you want to come and eat here, come on a Saturday. We have feijoada, which is a very traditional staple uh, home cooking black bean meal that we serve on Saturdays. Uh, just come and experience a little bit of Brazil before you go there. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.